Yes, Congressman. Um, I wanted to ask you this question. In 2016, 16% 16 of college-educated black men voted for President Trump. And it seems like in 2020, his campaign is trying to focus on increasing that number. What would you say to those men who think that Trump is more in line with his views on the economy, business, growth, and religion? I would ask him to take a hard look at the record. Uh, there was a question asked uh, by uh, President Trump last time, what have you got to lose? All I would say is look back over the last three and a half years, almost four, and take the little calculation of what you have lost. What have you lost since the last election? And that will answer the question for you. And if you want to keep losing, and that's what you want to see going forward, then keep voting that way. My opinion is very clear. I do believe that there must be a course correction in this country. This pandemic has opened up some things that I have been hopping on now for 10 years. When I said at the beginning of this debate that this is an opportunity for us to restructure things uh, in a more perfect vision, that's what I said. And it got weaponized against me. Uh, the uh, leader McConnell went on the floor uh, and called me out by position as having said that. I don't back away from that. Our health care system needs to be restructured. Our educational system needs to be restructured. Now everybody is seeing it. Our kids are about to use a second, lose a second year of school. Health care. We cannot get rid of this pandemic unless we do something about health care. We've got to test. We've got to trace. We've got to uh, isolate and we've got to treat. That cannot be effectively done without broadband. And where is the broadband missing? In rural communities, in low income communities, and these communities need to be restructured so our healthcare system can service them. So I would say to these people who voted the last time, think about where you are today. Think about where you were back in 2016. And if you want to be that same place four years from now, then cast your vote the way you did the last time. Anybody can make a mistake. You've made one. Let's make it right this time. Uh, Congressman Clyburn, I want to ask you about the disproportionate impact the coronavirus is having on African Americans. In your home state of South Carolina, 56 percent of coronavirus victims are African American. We are seeing similar racial patterns in other states as well. Why do you think that we are seeing this disparity? And as the chair of the Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus, uh, how do you think the federal government is best uh, able to address the disparity and, and help just all Americans? Well, I think that you've seen it. Thank you for that question. I think you've seen it uh, in the, uh, the CARES Act, the HEROES Act that we just passed. I think that in that HEROES Act, let me give just one example. If we're going to have broadband, right now the FCC has got billions of dollars they could spend out to get broadband in these uh, uh, underserved communities right now. They've got a schedule that goes out almost two years. In the HEROES Act, I put language in there uh, so that we could spend that money out by June. And if they don't do it, uh, we don't think the HEROES Act is going to pass right away. So on tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a bipartisan bill uh, sponsored by yours truly uh, and Congressman Upton uh, of a uh, Republican from Michigan to put broadband spin out of the FCC right away, because that's the way we're going to do this. We are not going to be able to cure uh, this problem uh, unless we make some significant uh, commitments in underserved areas. So South Carolina is one of those uh, states where it's going up. I think there are, what, 22 states uh, where it's been uh, 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 on the increase. Uh, I think uh, maybe 22 states where it's still big, about uh, 10 states. Uh, is going down. Uh, so I think that um, uh, South Carolina and other states have got to get serious about spending out yeah. the money that is necessary in education, in broadband, uh, in putting in uh, the kind of health care uh, facilities that we need. 
we need to have a massive expansion of community health centers. We've got that in the HEROES Act. A massive expansion uh, of broadband, that's in the HEROES Act. Pass the HEROES Act, take care of state and local governments, and we will see a massive improvement uh, in these statistics.